DJ Studio is a cheat code. One of the most important things a DJ can do is make mixes to showcase their talent. But we all know that making mixes is tedious and time consuming. You have to select tracks, you have to put them in order, and then you have to record it. And what happens if you muff? If you're like me, then you fix that muff and stitch it together in Ableton later. <laughs> But what if making mixes didn't have to suck so bad? What if there was a program out there that could do it for you? Luckily it's 2025 and we have an answer. The answer is DJ Studio and it is a cheat code for DJs. DJ Studio is a DAW and DAW stands for Digital Audio Workstation and essentially what that means, it's like having a digital recording studio on your computer. DJ Studio harnesses the power of AI to help you make super smooth mixes and mashups. The program is very robust and offers a ton of features to help you create really clean mixes. However, it's not perfect. Let's talk about it. DJ Studio allows you to use music from various different sources. You can link DJ Studio with your DJ software of choice to import playlists and cue points. You also have the option to have a local DJ Studio library where you import music from your music folder or an external SSD. Just keep in mind that DJ Studio uses a database system and that database grows every single time you put a song in it. And to answer your question, no. Deleting tracks does not make the database any smaller. Whack. This could be a problem for anyone who's limited on storage space. Thankfully, DJ Studio did think of this and the program does allow you to choose where your database gets stored. My advice for anyone who's really gonna use DJ Studio regularly is to put the database on an external SSD. Trust me, your internal SSD will love you for it. Now, here's where things go from great to what the f You can compose mixes using streaming services like Apple Music, Spotify, Beatport, or beat source. But now it's time to read the fine print where it says that you cannot export a mix that you made using streaming services. The website markets it as mixing online, but nowhere on the website does it say that you can't export your online mixes. What? I would hate for someone to buy this program thinking that they can export mixes that they made using streaming services. DJ Studio does tell you in the app once you select the track from a streaming service that you will have to either use a track from your library that the program will help you find or the program will point you in a direction online that you can buy the track that you'd like to use for your mix. I mean, at least they eventually tell you? DJ Studio uses AI to harmonize your mix, which essentially means it sets the track order by key and BPM. I found it better to set your tracks manually because DJ Studio will not hesitate to make a large tempo shift. Sometimes it sounds okay, but I'm from the school of you work your way up and you work your way down. So I personally set the track order myself. The biggest selling point of the software is making mixes. And if you're making mixes using quantized music, then you're golden. However, if you're looking to make a disco music mix, you better be ready for some headaches. See, DJ Studio uses beat grids that are powered by AI. Sometimes the AI gets a little off, but you can nudge it on the beat grid to get it back on track. Even quantized beats are off every now and again, but fixing them is really easy. What is not easy is getting two tracks that aren't quantized to mix well. Let's take two songs that can't hold the tempo, like Do You Wanna Funk by Sylvester and You Shook Me by ACDC. If you've ever mixed disco and classic rock, you know the pain. DJ Studio had a really hard time mixing these two songs because of the variations in tempo. <laughs> Now there is a workaround. In the software, you can take a song and quantize it. Here's what the tempo of You Shook Me looks like when it's not quantized, and here's what the tempo looks like when it is quantized. Once you have the song quantized, you can export it and then add it to whatever mix you want. Yeah. Yeah. This 100% fixes the problem with the tracks being on beat. However, when you quantize the music in DJ Studio, it just sounds weird. It sounds really robotic. I had my fiance and my parents listen to two songs that I quantized using DJ Studio, and honestly, they couldn't hear a difference. But these two songs were heavy in my rotation for a very long time, and I can tell. Or I'm just crazy, I'm not too sure. 
Clean transitions are obviously a very important part of a good mix. DJ Studio, for the most part, does okay. More often than not, DJ Studio will pick really weird mix points or even weirder ways to bring the mix in. in the middle of the Think of it as a DJ who mixes on beat really well, but just doesn't understand phrasing. In my experimenting, I found that manually setting the transitions worked best for me. There are some pretty fun ways to make the transitions happen. You can set how long the song mixes for, whether or not it crossfades, or you can swap the EQ like swapping bass lines on the tracks. Then there are effects. You can add filters or noise to the overall mix. There are effects for the incoming track like key swap, and there are effects for the outgoing track like echo. Although you have the option to use effects, you can't really customize them. For example, you could set the amount of beats for an echo, but there's no wet dry adjustment, so the length of the echo and the intensity of the echo is totally predetermined by the software. Sometimes it sounds fine, and sometimes having that extra control will be awesome. This applies to all of the outgoing track effects. DJ Studio also has stems, and they sound really, really good. Now, stems are the separate parts of the track, like the vocals, the instruments, or the drums. DJ Studio uses AI just like DJ Pro to make the separation in stems. When it comes to using them, you have two options, like crossfade or swap. Crossfading will gently take one song stem out while slowly bringing the other one in. Swapping, on the other hand, is more immediate and noticeable. You can have the program do this, or you can set the points yourself. Overall, DJ Studio is a solid tool. If you need to crank out mixes frequently, it's a huge time saver. But for me, I'd rather mix manually. There is something valuable about listeners actually hearing my real mixing style, especially since I use my mixes to market for private events. Live mixing has subtle nuances that AI can't quite replicate, and I like having full control over my transitions and effects. At the end of the day, DJ Studio is a powerful tool, but it is not a replacement for actual DJ skills. If you need speed, it's great, but if you want full control, you're gonna find it limiting. Viewers, I leave it to you. Have you tried DJ Studio? Does it work for your needs? Leave it in the comments. As always, if you made it to the end of this video, I'd like to say thank you so much for watching. If you found anything valuable in the content, please subscribe to the channel. We have a bunch of videos already talking about the tech that we use as DJs with a lot more coming down the pipeline. My name is Seth, AKA DJ Seth V. This is DJ Tech Tips. Thank you for watching and we out.